Hi, thanks for listening to The Monthly Social here on YouTube. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. It would mean the world to us. All right, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Take care. Hello, and welcome to another edition of our HelloFresh experience here. Tonight, I'm gonna to try and make Carb Smart Barbecue Rubbed Pork Chops. The estimated prep time uh, is 25 minutes. And um, I've already got the oven started because uh, one of the first steps is always preheat the oven. Preheat the oven at 425. I'm going to look in the uh, ingredient bag. And in today's ingredient bag, we've got a healthy portion of broccoli that we're going to put in the oven. We've got a bag of spinach, put that aside. Got a couple of uh, shallots, gotta dust those off and, and cut them it looks like. Our friends, two tomatoes for the stock for the spinach salad. And we've got some uh, white wine vinegar. So today we're getting vinegar to use, so. Interesting there, a couple of pods of that, and it looks like we've got some sauces. We've got barbecue sauce, and we've got a barbecue seasoning packet. So I'll put those aside, and that's everything. And I know we have the pork chops. I had those in the fridge. There's our HelloFresh uh, pork chop packets, and there are two pork chops in each packet. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that stuff going. I'll do some of the first prep, which is they want me to uh, cut the broccoli down into bite-sized pieces and put them on this um, uh, parchment lined pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So just a quick update. Uh, I started prepping the broccoli. I didn't really have to cut them. They already came in fairly uh, reasonably sized, bite-sized pieces. Um, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of broccoli. So you can see what I've done here. And their suggestion is, hey, put them on the pan, then season and oil them and then toss them on the pan. And it's the same pan you're gonna add the pork chops to. But there's a lot of broccoli. So I took another bowl put the broccoli in the bowl, put a little bit of oil, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, tossed it in here. And then I'm gonna do the second batch and I'm gonna put them on the pan, just I thought it would be easier to toss them that way. I cut the tomato, uh, two tomatoes for the uh, spinach salad and the shallots. So I cut one shallot and there's there's a lot of shallot here with the one that I cut and they'd also given me a second one. Given the amount of uh, the portion of uh, the spinach, I don't think I'm gonna cut the, the extra. And I'm, I've been really trying to stick to the recipes where it made sense, uh, but I don't think it makes sense because that's a lot of shallot for that uh, spinach when we once we make the dressing. So um, the stove has warmed up. What I'm gonna do now is get the broccoli onto the pan. Uh, and I did, just so you know, uh, you'll you know from the other videos, I did wash the spinach and I'm just covering it with the paper towel just to absorb any of the moisture. I'll turn it over and then um, put the paper towel as well just to absorb the moisture after we've washed that. And I'm just setting that aside and nothing to do with this recipe, but I, and I haven't really done anything extra with the other ones, but I did have some Italian bread kicking around. And so I made some of my own homemade crostini, uh, put those in the oven. So you slice the bread, you use some olive oil, um, you uh, can uh, use some um, uh, salt uh, and uh, you can really put anything. You could even put some red peppers if you wanted to. I didn't because uh, if you're serving kids, they don't really like the, the hot red pepper, the chili peppers. Uh, but olive oil, 425 for about six to eight minutes, uh, you know, quarter inch size in thickness. And we've got Christine. Nothing to do with HelloFresh. Just thought I'd throw it in there and share with you because I didn't want these uh, that bread to go to waste. Okay. I'm gonna go get the vegetables ready and start getting the pork chops, which I think I, what I have to do next is take the pork chops, pat them down uh, dry, and uh, sear them in the pan for one to two minutes. And then they're gonna go on the, uh, the lined sheet with the broccoli and in the oven. I'll be back.
Okay, I've got the pork chops and the broccoli in the oven. I've mixed the salad uh, vinaigrette, which is uh, the uh, vinegar that they provided, and then some uh, oil, I used olive oil, and some sugar, uh, salt, and pepper. I added the shallots in there, and now I'm gonna take the, uh, I'll add that in a little bit to the uh, spinach, along with the tomatoes. So I'm just waiting now for about another nine minutes for the pork chops and the broccoli to uh, bake in the oven. And I'll be back and I'll show you what those look like and uh, maybe the final plating. See you in a bit. See, you've got the uh, pork, the broccoli and the spinach. A little bit of juice from the, from the pork. Hopefully that looks all right. But uh, I'm gonna go and, oh yeah, this is our, our garbage bowl, not a lot of waste. I'm gonna go and eat it and I'll let you know if it was tasty or not. Okay, well, we finished the uh, Carb Smart Barbecue Rubbed Pork Chops uh, dinner. Um, and the verdict is uh, mixed. So uh, the pork chops were relatively the same size, but some were juicier than the others. We had a couple that maybe were a little drier and I went with the recommended uh, cook time in the recipe card. Um, so you added a little extra barbecue sauce to kind of get through it. Salad was okay. Uh, I think we're noticing the extra sugar that gets added to some of these. So we were talking about that as well. Um, broccoli was probably one of the more favorite things. So uh, in terms of cook times, it said 25 minutes and I was within about five minutes of that uh, time. So one more to go. This was number four. Uh, I think overall so far this might be our least favorite one, the pork chops, but I'll do a round out at the end of the last one, which is tomorrow.